Hello and welcome back to Universe Sandbox 2. So, quite a bit has happened since last time. I have hit 7,000 subscribers thanks to you. Well, subscribers. Yeah, from clicking that little subscribe button, 7,000 of you guys have done that. Actually, I've already hit 7,000, but uh, YouTube, YouTube kind of cleared out an active account, which tiny hit to us, which meant we lost about... 200 and so we had to get back up to 7,000 but now we're there to stay at least for a year unless I get no subscribers from now on and a bunch of you go inactive next time which would kind of stink but I doubt that's going to happen and there you go proof that they are all out accounts because they would have all been deleted um thankfully not uh too many were deleted I got slightly scared I saw stories of people losing hundreds of thousands of subscribers yeah, and that's that's never a good thing, you know. But it's all good. And back to Universe Sandbox 2, a few other series being worked on, like Space Engineers and stuff. But though those will wait for now. And here we have the sun being pulled towards Jupiter, as always. And let's just quickly mess with the balance here. Just now we're gonna leave trails on for this. Let's just increase the mass of Jupiter by like, just double it. And there we go. And now straight off we can see, let's see if the sun starts getting flung a bit further now. Yes, it does. Actually, very far. Not sure if that's enough of a change to affect climate yet. But it does appear to be pulled, uh, it's actually pulling the entire solar system now. <laughs> because Jupiter is pulling the sun and everything's orbiting around the sun. So congratulations, we have just uh, started moving the entire solar system. But let's not finish yet, let's uh, quickly run and double it again more is better unless we're talking about death explode well explosions are good sometimes it depends is it your computer exploding or not because that's the only thing that it's bad when it explodes like spontaneous combustion of people okay computers no not okay let's, let's be honest with ourselves here so, the sun is still being messed with, but not enough for me to really, uh, well, care. So, let's double it again. Jupiter, now more like Octupiter. Ha, huh, get it? Because eight. Okay. Um, now, let's see if this changes anything. I think the sun is actually, no, no, from that line it looks like it was just being pulled straight towards Jupiter and it was all over, but that's not true. What is happening though is um, not much, actually. I mean, it's being pulled every few years, um, it moves a bit, but the planets are following that and it's honestly not really messing anything up. Let's check its climate just to make sure it's around normal. Yep. And where is Jupiter? Where, where'd Jupiter go? Did Jupiter escape? Or have I just lost it? I mean, I made Jupiter really big. It would be pretty hard to lose. Oh. You know, I don't know why I didn't see it. <laughs> what was I thinking? Oh well. Let's just continue, pretend that didn't happen. And double its mass again. So now we can notice things are happening. The radius of Jupiter is shrinking as it condenses itself into what is going to be a really hot uh, ball of gas. And that is going to uh, become a star at some point. But as we can see, it's not going fast at all. So we don't have to worry about that. What we do have to look at though is the sun. How is it taking uh, this? Now it's actually moving a lot. And by a lot I mean like a half. Uh, let's just do a year here. 
And... Bam. Okay, maybe not in a year it does much. After a few years, we can see it goes pretty much half the distance of uh, Mercury's orbit. Which is quite a bit. And let's continue. Jupiter, let's just uh, double your size again. And now, I think we're going to start seeing big results. Not only is Jupiter going to be less inclined to orbit the sun, the sun's going to be more inclined to go towards Jupiter. Yeah, look, wow, <laughs> yep, that that was a big change. Now it's going much further than a uh, Mercury's orbit, and let's just count a year here. Yeah, it actually moves quite a bit, even during a single year. You know, we can see all the planets' orbits are off, too. The lines aren't lining up anymore. Let's check Earth's, um, climate. It's still pretty normal. And so, with that, we have to mess with Jupiter again. Let's double it. Now, at 64... Oh, oops, that's the... That's a wrong, that's not what I wanted to click. At 64 Jupiters, we are now at 926 degrees, which is actually probably going to go up. Because why one in it? It's just going to keep crushing itself. And, yep, the temperature, no, it's staying pretty, uh, still there. But, the sun is seriously being pulled around now. Well, the entire solar system pretty much is now being pulled around. Let's check Earth's climate. And now we can notice that as the sun is pulled away from Earth right here, the Earth actually gets very cold. And we can see that in that um, while the ice cap has gotten quite a bit larger here. Let's see if we can slow that down at all. I don't think we'll see any noticeable change in the small amount of time, but I think the ice cap being larger than, like, Asia is a uh, good indicator that it's getting slightly cold. So let's see if that gets any worse. Let's go to the opposite cycle when it gets really hot. If I can get it to the opposite. Okay, so, the sun is really being pulled around by Jupiter now, and Jupiter is starting to not really care about the sun. It's going pretty far away without caring, and the Earth, let's check on Earth. So when it gets to the, its farthest point, which you'll look at in a second, when the sun starts moving in, and Earth starts moving away, which the furthest point would be right about here let's see how cold it is oh never mind we aren't getting the effect we had before no uh, let's see if it cools down a bit or let's just watch it itself nope we're not getting the same effect anymore before we got it to go really cold but that's okay it's going to go in cycles, so there's not much we can do about it. Um, so, now Jupiter is continually pulling the sun. But we're not done yet, come on Jupiter. Let's bring you to 128. Oh, jeez. Um, so this is a point at which Jupiter is... attended the sun, and it is actually its own star. The sun very much is trying to go towards it now. And it's going faster than I think its planets can... What, what would I call it? Calibrate. <laughs> um, it's going faster than its planets can make up for. So the orbits are starting to get slightly wacky. Um, there's a lot of variance in the temperature of the Earth now. Oh! And as time goes on, we're having some problems on Earth. It's uh, The temperature is rapidly dropping now. 
Yikes. For a second, it looked like it was over. Oh, it's still over. It is rapidly dropping the global temperature. See how big the ice cap gets. Now it's going back up, but it's going to start dropping again, if I'm correct. Oh, it's going back up. And now it's going back for another plunge. Nope. Seems to be recovering from that. That was pretty serious, though. There it is, there it is. Oh, man. <laughs> it dropped again. The Earth, not very happy. Three degrees. So, the solar, the, I mean, not the solar, the polar ice cap has basically covered half of America now. But let's continue. Where is the sun going? Well, it's going towards Jupiter, which means it's going to be going away for, uh, from Earth for a little bit longer before we finally go back towards it. Then we're going to run away again. But um, let's see if anything happens on its own or if I have to do a little bit more. Oh, Earth, no. Earth, why? Why you got to be so cold? So Earth has now pretty much frozen over multiple times, but it's still got a little bit of uh, heat left when it comes back around. But on bad years, it gets pretty serious. It appears to be warming up now. Good job, Earth. Nope, it seems to have stabilized. So all the planets are now pretty much stable again except earth kind of going into mars and so who cares about that but jupiter is still not really doing too much so jupiter we're gonna have to step it up a bit except for the fact that there's like two daytimes now but who cares about that jupiter is now double what it was a second ago and now it's actually pulling the planets, which is actually circulating their orbits. But that's not necessarily a good thing. It's actually pulling the Earth further away from the sun. As we can see here, it's getting very far in the sun's move. Actually, nothing really happened there. But everything's being pulled all over the place now. The outer planets don't really care they move so slowly but the inner planets do care and the sun is now actually moving into jupiter's orbit um once jupiter comes around again no maybe maybe if the sun turns around right here and it goes this way <laughs> This is becoming very laggy very fast. So let's get rid of a few variables here to make this easier for my computer. Just to remove asteroids that don't really matter over here. Remove the outerish planets. Some asteroids around here. Okay, there we go. Good enough. So at this point in time, it looks like still nothing really is going. Did I delete Earth? I don't think I did. Was Earth flung? I think Earth was flung. And then I may have deleted it. But let's continue. How big do we need to get Jupiter to be for it to actually hit the sun? This is now the question. <laughs> oh! Let's see. Do do do. I mean, it's definitely doing something increasing this all, but. Oh! I think I just accidentally deleted Jupiter. And so, the conclusion stands that if Jupiter were to become a star, we'd all be pretty screwed, but not as screwed as you'd think. So, it's okay. 
Um, should I do something else than this? Uh, maybe. Maybe I should. Let's look at the bombardment of the moon by asteroids in slow motion. Your featured presentation will now begin. Whoa, explosion. Whoa, another, and another, and more! So many explosions. In all seriousness, though, this this would be pretty terrible. If this happened to Earth, it'd be pretty bad. Just saying. On the moon, it's very easy to see on the edges. On the left, you can actually see the craters and how the moon is no longer spherical at all. But what is that, flat Earth uh, believers? You, you don't think that anything is round in space? Well, get off my channel. I don't want you here. Um, that, uh, that's honestly worse than denying climate change because, come on, people have known the Earth was round for thousands of years. And before I get into a rant, we're going to stop it right here. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. Leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. If not, suggest in the comments how I could improve it or what could be better. And if you like this video today, you will get your very own asteroid that you can hurl at the moon. Shipping and handling fees not included in this offer. Um, let's just say it's kind of expensive to ship an asteroid. So if you like mail me a check for like a few million dollars, I may be able to do it for you. Actually make that a few billion. But yeah, thank you for watching.